There is some crazy stuff coming out of Brazil. It involves X or Twitter. Uh, we've got a tweet here from Colin Rugg. Uh, Brazil is moving to regulate X after Elon Musk refused to comply with their anti-free speech demands. Brazil Attorney General Jorge Macias is lashing out after Musk refused to bend the knee. We cannot live in a society in which billionaires and domicile, in which billionaires domiciled abroad have control of social networks and put themselves in a position to violate the rule of law, failing to comply with court orders and threatening our authorities. It's urgent to regulate social networks. Uh, and then Colin adds, old Twitter would have bent the knee. So Twitter under Elon is basically just allowing the same free speech that they're allowing here in the United States in Brazil. And the new leader of Brazil, this socialist Lulu, is not happy about it. Uh, here's Elon responding to what's going on. I, th I think, uh, the, I mean, the people of Brazil ought to know that there is uh, an abuse of judicial power in ex to an extreme degree that we've not seen in any country on earth. I have never seen anything of this magnitude. Um, so uh, it's insane. Um, and the, the elected representatives uh, of the people of Brazil, um, th th that's who should be in charge. Um, you know, and the judiciary is there to, to in, uh, you know, execute upon the law, but not to make the law. Um, but they are making the law. Um, and I think it's an outrage. People, people should be extremely upset. Um, so, like, this has got to stop. They have, they have threatened to uh, cut off um, X entirely from Brazil. They've also threatened to um, arrest our employees. Um, and they have uh, applied a, a $20,000 a day fine. So this is just what the, the, the threats that have been made. Uh, I don't know if these threats will, will come to pass or not. Um, but judging by what has happened to others, uh, I think these, these, are, these threats are real. I don't know. I think I think this is like really uh, judicial authority going going far beyond judicial authority to, to executive authority. Um, so that that's that's you know, I just think it's just totally absolutely improper. I mean, the law is violating the law. It's crazy. All right, so I just want to add in one other tweet that Elon sent out. The severity of censorship and the degree to which Brazil's own laws are being broken to the department of their own, to the detriment of their own people is the worst any country in the world in which this platform operates. Um, Aaron, the reason I think this st story is important, I mean, it's, it's important because we should stop censorship wherever it is, but it seems fairly obvious to me what's happening in Brazil is the test run for if Biden remains president, that they will try here with Elon and X, and it will be much easier for them to do with the other social networks, which will be much more inclined to just do whatever the state wants them to do. Am I crazy? I actually think that's not even as bad as what's happening. I think hmm. it's not only a test run. I think this is the our government. I think this is the Biden administration going after Elon through a proxy. And so we know the left doesn't even try to hide this. There are articles online talking about how you know uh, uh, the CIA helped prevent a coup from Bolsonaro. Bolsonaro, for people who might not be familiar, is like the tropical Trump, right? This is mm -hmm. a guy, the story of Brazil is it's very close to what we're dealing with here. And uh, and what uh, luckily for us, our courts, our Supreme Court, I should say, not our courts, because obviously our courts are actually packed with George Soros appointed DAs, and that's a really big problem. And my goal in life is to make so much money to be the antithesis Soros <laughs> and to stick DAs anywhere that I can to undo all his harm, uh, but man, you anyway. got to monetize some of your videos if you want. <laughs> if you want Soros cash, we better. Well, thank God, after this week, I'm a step closer to that. But uh, you know, but at least we do have a Supreme Court. What's happening in Brazil is their court is it, just like Elon said. There, you know, our Supreme Court receives and then rules on laws that they, uh, you know, on, on cases that they receive. What's what Brazil can actually just go after people. The Brazil mm -hmm. court. They actually say, go and arrest this person. They have actually made calls to just proactively go after people, which is not something that people in the U.S. are as familiar with, although we're seeing that with in a number of cases, including the woman who has Ash had Ashley ba Biden's journal, which we'll talk mm -hmm. about later. But, you know, so in Brazil, the court is being used sort of as a mix between judicial and executive and not just executive, like authoritative, dictatorial kind of cra like really crazy power grabbing. Um, and we know that the CIA stopped Bolsonaro or prevented a coup, uh, really just, you know, 
what's happening over there is similar to what's happening here with just total election rigging and election fraud. Uh, so, and they made it that Bolsonaro couldn't run. And Lula is basically a CIA appointed uh, Biden front uh, in Brazil, acting out exactly as the Biden administration wants. And so they're going, they can't go after Elon here in the same way just yet. And so they're trying to go after him in Brazil.